How are you? Not great, but what can you, you know, what can you do? Oh, God, already I feel like I'm going to But understandably, Chanel, this is a, you know, having a, a, a newborn baby anyway is a really tough thing, but to have a relationship end just six weeks in, you're allowed to cry and feel rotten, because it's really tough. I know, I've got the ugliest crying face we've seen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. <laughs> Being able to talk about it, you'll feel better after this, and yeah. you'll make a lot of other feel, people feel that they're, they're not the only ones out there, you know, so you're, you're going to be a, a, a big voice for lots of people so yeah. you. You are, listen we are prepared there you are okay. we're like <laughs> as Angela just yeah. said you know having a baby makes you very emotionally vulnerable anyway but just to put into context for anybody that doesn't know tell us what's happened in the last couple of weeks um well, I mean, Ryan just decided to leave. That's fine, you know. So this is the father of your yeah. youngest. And he's, you know, he's not left the kids, he's left me. That's fine, I'm not going to force someone. Oh, that's a nice picture, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're not so let's, take, let's just take... While you re re regroup, where did, where did you and Ryan meet? How long ago? Oh, my God, on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and how long ago was that? Like February last year. Right. So obviously we weren't planning on having a baby. That just happened. Do you think it was the the, the difficulty that comes with having a newborn baby? Because it is really, really hard, um, especially in a relationship that is that is quite <sighs> young, if you like. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want not no. I wouldn't change my children for the world. But if it, you know. It wasn't in the plan. Yeah. So you had Blakely before you met Ryan. Yeah. And then you've got Frankie with Ryan. Yeah. So, you, I mean, you just said there, you know, we, we, weren't plan, we weren't planning to have a baby. It just happened. Yeah. How did it just happen? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we kind of know how. Somebody <laughs> somewhere didn't use contraception. But yeah. what, no, what I was going to say was, how did he react when you, yeah, you found out? Yeah, he was over the moon, really, right. really pleased. Um, both of us were, you know, we, you know, we had like plans together and like, oh, for God's sake. And the baby now is, the, baby now is 11 weeks old. Yeah. And we were chatting in makeup today, weren't we? And you were saying that you're just not getting much sleep either. That's the worst so, thing. That's so the that's, worst. Not, that's not helping no. things. No. They because... talk to people like that, don't they, with they sleep do. deprivation? Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Not every, babies, like no, other true. people. Everything <laughs> seems insurmountable when you're tired. Yeah. You know I mean, and, and we'll all remember that from having a baby. Where are you? Where, when, when did Ryan actually say to you that he couldn't, he, he didn't feel he could ca carry on? Um, Frankie was about six weeks, so. Hmm. And were you? Was it all the same things that we were doing? Lots of <laughs> rowing. You're at the edge of, you're at the edge of your nerves and not sleeping. Yeah, yeah, like to be fair, don't get me wrong. I'm really not an easy person. I think we all know that. Like that's fine, but it, you know, I didn't think that it was bad enough to like. You know, break it, it, it's a it's a lot of pressure on the strongest of relationships, yes, isn't really it? Is. A new baby. Do you think there is an argument that maybe everything happened too soon? Yeah, or... like like well, like I said, it was not in the plan. Like, yeah. I, you know, it really wasn't. So you hadn't had enough time to really get to know each other properly. Yeah, and it was, you know. And it's been extra difficult because you moved away from your family, didn't yeah. you, your mum and your friends, to to live with Ryan. And so that, again, That's I mean, really, I really my heart goes out to you because, you know, that, that you do get lonely when you have a baby and, 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 and to be away. Are you going to be able now to move back? Yeah, I'm doing your... houses this weekend, so... So yeah. have you given up on there maybe being a reconciliation? Like, no, it's not no. good. Like, if it was me, I'd marry him tomorrow. Like, love him to pieces. Oh, but, um, you know, what I should I do? point so out, pick just, up. We, we have, obviously, because you're here, Telling your side of the story, we've got a right of reply from Ryan. Yeah. Um, he says, Chanel has presented a selective account of our relationship <sighs> that doesn't necessarily reflect the truth. I wish for these personal matters to remain private and will continue to keep my sole focus on doing my very best for both Frankie <sighs> and Blakely. So is, he's still obviously seeing the boys. Yeah, like, he's, he's not walked away from them, he's walked away from me. Yeah. You know. To be fair, I don't, you haven't actually said anything really negative about well, him other than... I'm just trying to be fair, like, but, yeah. you know... Do you know, Chanel, you, you're putting it so nicely by saying, you know, and I, and I appreciate what you're doing by being a very... by being a mature, separated parent, by saying he hasn't walked away from the children, he's yeah. walked away from me. And that's admirable for both of you. But it doesn't take away 
how that is a knife through the heart to have somebody leave you when you're feeling at your most vulnerable and, and raw. And I'm not saying that he's done the, the, the wrong thing. I'm just saying it's a difficult thing for you to go through. Yeah, it's horrible. Like, I feel like every single part of my body hurts. Like, it's horrible to ring my mum every night crying. But, you know... Yeah, you've got my mum there for you. <laughs> yeah, my mum's yeah. amazing. Like, oh. it's just... Everyone's an hour away, so it's a bit difficult. But, you know, you know, what can I do? Just, you know no, what, like, what? I'm not a victim, not a pity party. No, like, I'm not, you know. So, do you know, it kind of is, because you're going through a really tough time. So allow very... people to feel sorry for you and, su and support you. Because yeah. once you move back with your mum, with your just being able to... And we all know this, we're all mums here, to... In the middle of the night, because you said you're, you're a little boy and he sleeps like half an hour at a time. Yeah, God, I mean, it's better now. He's like, he's like about 90 minutes to two oh, hours. A whole now. 90 minutes, you that's can. great. <laughs> but to be able to hand the baby over and just say, I need to sleep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, trust me, your mind will, the yeah. fog will lift and your mind will be clearer. Yeah. I know, like, I know everything is going to be fine. Like, the boy is going to be happy. Ryan's a really good dad. I'm a really yeah. good mum, like, blowing me on trumpet, but you know, and it's going to be fine. It's, just need yeah. to just get through yeah. this bit and pick no, myself you know, this up. Is, this is your most vulnerable time, and you yeah. know you'll move back to, nearer to your mum, and you'll have a lovely Christmas, and then next year, things will seem better. You'll get stronger, yeah, it's and hopefully it, you it and Ryan. It is going to be fine. Will, like I don't want anyone know. to feel sorry for me. I just. Yeah. I mean, I, it's my own fault for putting it on Twitter anyway. Like, what's stupid? That's not classy, is it? Yeah. But you can also be very <laughs> funny on your Twitter and Instagram. Well, you're, you are, you've got a great <laughs> sense of humour. No, oh, thank you. And no. it's amazing how often that will get get you get you through, through. things. It's hard when there's only pinholes of light. Yeah. But if you can if you can also look at it with, in the way that you do on your pages, I think that will get you through. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, everyone's healthy, everyone's, you know, the boys are going to have two good parents and it's going to be fine. Just, I've got really good friends, really good family. I just, it just needs to get through. I think it hurts.